Alright guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video and we have got our boy AGL Tapion um, with his EZA. Uh, oh, he has a pretty good sticker. That actually looks pretty good. Um, so I think AGL Tapion is going to be a very solid unit. Um, one thing that's going to help him is he is on some category teams that really need the help. You know, like Giant. He is on both movie bosses and movie heroes, so that's going to be good. Um, of course, he's on Revive Warriors as well. Um, now, I'm spying that his defense is 100k right there. I am not too impressed by that, honestly. Uh, Gogeta. Let me quickly check what Gogeta's uh, defense is on his leader skill for movie hero. It's 150. Okay. Eh. Because, like... I mean, he should be... Mm, uh, let, let's see a little bit more. Um, okay, so obviously with Int Gogeta, um, Tapion is going to be able to get um, experienced fighters as well as fierce battle. Uh, both attack links. Uh, remember that um, Int, like that's the one link that Int Gogeta has. 2.2. I mean, 2.2, honestly, in terms of damage for Tapion, I feel like is fine. Um, if, if his defense and his tanking really can be that impressive, right? I mean, it's... It's still, like, a long way from where Tapion was before, right? Like, before, he basically didn't do damage at all um, until he actually, um, like, fell below 50% HP. So, that's going to be good. Um, 100k, I mean, that's, like, right around the level, I think, where, like, just having damage reduction uh, does really start to kick in and work well with defense. So, um, I... The thing is, is like what I really wanted to see from Tapion is I was hoping that his EZA is going to make him good enough to go into the God event neutral. That's what I wanted to see. Now, with Tech Tapion, he's definitely going to be looking better because um, we're going to have everything active except for Transform. So Tapion's links are Brainiacs, Hero, Experience Fighters, Revival, Transform, Solid Support, and Fierce Battle, right? The only link we don't have active here is Transform. So, like, Brainiac is 15% defense, Hero 25% defense, right? So, like, between those two, uh, his defense is, oh my god, his defense is now up to 146k. Um, so, like, being able to activate either Brainiacs or Hero will be highly important for Tapion. The only thing is that Tech Tapion is just flat out not good enough to run. Um, in this day and age. I mean, he is a Rainbow Orb Changer, which is fine. But you're not going to get away with running running him, really. Uh, I, Brainiacs, I'm not really spying too many units um, that would really work incredibly well with Brainiacs. What about Hero? I know Nail has Hero. Um, so, like, I'm, if you're going to try this AGL Tapion for, like, uh, Super AGL Extreme Super Battle Road, I think running Tapion and Nail together could work. They'll be good defensively. The only thing is that they're not going to have key, right? Like, Tapion is good, but he's definitely wonky. Um, I think, uh, you know, I, well, I'm, stop me if you've heard this 500 times before, but if they had made him an, an orb changer or give a little key support, that would be good. That's really what they should do with wonky units like Tapion. Because, again, he has an odd link set. So he jumps a lot. Like, look at his linking partner, Tech Tapion, and how much he jumps, though, next to Tech Tapion, right? Because, again, you have these links like Hero, again, 25% defense. Brainiacs, 15% attack and defense, right? Uh, remember that Revival only gives key until you're under 50% HP, right? So, like, that's something that, um, even though we had Revival active, all that was giving to Tapion right there was key. You know what's interesting about the Hero link in particular, right? So, at link level 1, Hero gives 20% defense. I actually, I want to pull this up. But many, like, very, like, Hero is a very, very small link. Here, hold on. This this is a very important note to make about how Tapion is actually shafted a little bit right here. Uh, Tapion, Nail, and a couple of these characters. So, which one is Hero? Let me get my impressive Japanese. I think it's this. This is Hero, right here. Let me see. Is this? That's not Hero. That's... No, that is. Yeah, that's Hero. Okay, okay, perfect. All right, so this is the Hero link right 25 percent defense we see how ultra limited it is just a couple of hercule units a couple of tapions right like this is nail this is mostly fodder this is not really going to do too much for you when they've typically had one of these incredibly limited very small links they've made it ridiculous like 
25% defense is good, but why is this not giving key or extra attack or something? Look at this. 25% defense is not sufficient for how limited this link is. That, that's a mistake, right? Um, there's a lot of links out there, you know, things like Turtle School, Galactic Warrior, where they took sort of these very, very limited links, and not only did they make them, you know, better with the link level update, but they made them ridiculously busted because you're not very likely to have them active all the time. That's the thing with Tapion, right? Um, Hero, you're not going to have active that often, so I don't know why that couldn't have been even better because, like, I noticed that the two Tapions, they only have two key. Um, they're, the only link they have for key right there is Revival, right? Uh, they are giving a lot of attack, because, like, Brainiac's 15% attack, uh, Experienced Fighter's 15% attack, um, Solid Support, another 15% attack, and then Fierce Battle's 20% attack. Um, alright, so this will probably be our best rotation right here for Tapion. Uh, like, if you're gonna rock in a, an event like this, where he's at 173k defense... He's not going to get touched. Um, at this point, he's easily going to go into, like, the God event neutral type neutral, and he's going to dominate AGL Tapion is. But, I mean, depending upon the team you're rocking him on, Key Links will hurt. Like, I'm running him on Movie Hero here. One of the main reasons is just, I just wanted to run him with Tech Tapion. I felt like that would be good. Um, but, like, unless you're running him on Revived Warrior, he'll have Revival. So he, he would work good, like, you know, Tech Ultimate Gohan. Uh, you know, a bunch of those golden freezes and stuff like that have revival. That'll work. Um, Transform, obviously, is the main key link for the giant category team. It's like, Tapion is good, but I'm not really seeing anything where it's like, oh, right? Like, just for an example, I think um, the the trio of EZAs we got from the Broly movie last month are far superior to this guy. Let me see what he does right here. I mean, that's good. That's that's definitely good. Yeah, I'm, I, w with Tech Tapion... Ooh, he's at 3 mil. Okay, 3 million, almost 200k defense with 50% damage reduction. Like, he does have that in his bag of tricks where, like, that's that's a very impressive turn right there from AGL Tapion. But again, I, I would say I think I like the Bio Broly trio if easy a units better. The Goten, the Kid Trunks, and the Android 18. I think they're going to be a little bit more effective because... It's looking to me like Tapion is going to be good, right? Like, you'll be able to take him into difficult events, and he's definitely going to be able to tank. If you're able to get a super attack off with him, he is going to be lowering attack, which is still good in Battlefield and Super Battle Road. Um, offensively, his numbers aren't too crazy. I mean, he does get an additional 80% attack when he falls below 50% uh, HP. So, I mean, that's that's going to be a lot of extra damage, right? But I, I think the wonky Link set might hurt him a bit. Um, again, very good. But, like, what's his defense here? 146k. Again, just, just with Tech Tapion. Like, look how much defense they get. That's just Brainiacs and Hero. It's 40k defense. Like, that's so much. But, like, that's the thing. Like, ooh. I don't know, like, Hero, we've established that you're really only going to have this active, again, if you're rocking him next to Tech Tapion or AGL Nail. Um, Tech Tapion is also on some of these category teams with AGL uh, Tapion, though. Like, again, they're all, both of them are on Revived Warrior, Time Traveler, Movie Hero, and Sibling Bond. Um, Giant and Movie Bosses are the two additional categories that AGL Tapion has. Um... The thing is, is that his EZ8 is so necessary because, other, like, what is the giant category going to do um, if, if not for, like, AGL Tapion to actually get, Im like, improved in this manner, right? Uh, okay, so we're going to activate a support type buff with Paikuan. Uh, so that's going to get us up to, like, 170k-ish defense, I believe. All right, let's see what we get right here. This will be a, a lower uh, numbers than what we saw with the movie hero support Gohan. But 3 mil right there. Um, remember, PyCon is going to share experienced fighters and fierce battle with Tapion. That's it. Because um, Tapion does not have shocking speed. Him having both Revival and Transform will definitely be solid, though. Because, again, Revival is pretty common over on that Revived Warrior team, right? Like, you know... Well, actually, Super Saiyan 3 Angel uh, Goku, the Tech Angel Goku, also has that. Right? Revival. 
Um, so, like, if we're able... That makes sense, too. Because, like, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku to work well with Tapion does make a lot of sense. So, like, if you could rock him on Movie Heroes, you could rock him on Revived Warrior, right? Like, that will help Tapion. Like, that potentially could be... Like, you know, you're not going to have, like, any of those links active for Super Saiyan 3 Goku besides Fierce Battle and uh, Revival. But, like, if you're going through difficult content, I feel like that could work, right? Like, Movie Hero Super Battle Road, let's just say that Angel Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku, let's just, just for the sake of our argument, let's say he'll be the best 120% lead EZA, right? Like, he's better than Physical Cooler, better than the Super Saiyan 4s, so he's just the best, right? So, like, you can run him on rotation with, like, EGL Tapion. You put Tapion in slot one, let him sort of handle the brunt of the punishment, and then, you know, you're likely to have, like, some sort of Saiyan floating unit on movie heroes anyway, right? To work well with Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, with Revival, that should allow Tapion to super at least regularly and get the attack lowering. And then, obviously, that would be very good for uh, Angel Goku as well. I think Tapion is solid. Um, I do think he could be, he, could, he probably could have been a bit better. Um, it, it, like, he wouldn't have broken the game or... He wouldn't have made any of these teams OP or anything like that. If anything, I, I would argue that Tapion should have been treated in a little bit of the same fashion as Videl. Like, maybe not quite to the same extent where, like, they just made... They made Videl, like, like she's got, like, dream-like power compared to, like, the rest of the game. All right, so 2.6 for AGL Tapion right here. Um, that's, again, just linked with Tech Tapion. So we saw when we weren't linked up with Tech Tapion... His defense at 100k. Um, can you get... Who can you run him with to get Brainiacs? I am not seeing anyone jump out off the page for Brainiacs. There's no characters here that you're likely to be running on one of these teams of Tapions. Oh, well, except for Tech Ultimate Gohan. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Okay, that, that's interesting. So, Tech Ultimate Gohan and Tapion, they have Brainiacs, Revival, and Fierce Battle. So, that, you want to talk about a defensive rotation. Um, you can rock them on the Revived Warrior team. Uh, you could also run them together on Sibling Bond as well. Uh, so, those are the two spots where those two units can be run together. I think that's actually going to be a good setup for Tapion. Running him with Tech Ultimate Gohan, I think, could actually be very, very effective when going through difficult content. Yeah, for sure. So, it's like, Tapion does have a... He's got a wonky Link set, but he does have Revival and Transform. Transform is a necessity, or otherwise the giant category team is just going to be completely dead, right? Like, he, he needed to have that. Revival is going to allow him to work well with, with some sort of, like, low-key units, right? Again, Tech Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku... Has Revival. That could be big. No, that's Experienced Fighters. Revival is... I'm actually not sure. Is this Revival right here? I'm not really... T I, 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 revival is not one I have memorized. No, that's Brainiacs right there. So this is Hero, Experienced Fighters, Brainiacs. Uh, that's Giant right there. I think this is Revival. It's gotta be. Uh, this is not Revival. That's Solid Support. Okay, so this is Revival. The last link I checked, of course. <laughs> so... Bojack, you could run with Tapion. That's Time Travelers, right? Again, Tech Ultimate Gohan is going to be one of the major ones. Demon King Piccolo is on Time Travelers. Exchange Boo is on Time Travelers as well. So, Tapion is going to have some setups on Time Travelers. Yeah, there's LR Bojack, right? Mmm, okay. A lot of revived warrior characters are in here that have revival. Um, there's definitely some setups. You could utilize Tapion. Um, with his defensive abilities for difficult content. I would say this is this is the type of EZA that is going to massively help out like free-to-play players out there, right? Because this is the type of character where all these Super Battle Road stages he's in, including Super AGL, which still gives people a lot of trouble, um, is he's really going to help out, right? And he's been a banner unit for years, so that's good. So let me know what you guys think of this uh, you know, early look here for AGL Tapion. Um, I like what I see. I, I do. I do. I, th I think he's maybe not quite as good as he initially looked on paper. Um, I do think, like, you know, neutral in the God Event, he might be taking a lot of damage. I'm going to test that out. Uh, wh when I take him into the God Event, I'll probably do neutral and type advantage. Type advantage, he's going to be untouchable in there, of course. But, like, if he could be type neutral, that would be that would help out a lot for setups you potentially could use in there. So, 
Uh, thanks, you guys, for watching, uh, and I'll catch y'all next time. Oh, real quick. I, I, <laughs> whoa, wait, wait. I, I was just about to cut it off. Okay, so Harutagarn, right? The last thing, I mean, you're not going to see Harutagarn happen very often. He doesn't really do anything special, even after the EZA. Um, his passive is that he just dodges, which says nothing, because Great Apes can't take damage. And now he just greatly raises his attack, um, which I don't think he did before prior to EZA. No, he did. Yeah, so he does not, uh, all he does now is he lowers enemy defense. That's, that's all Harutagarn got, is he now lowers enemy defense. Whoopee. <laughs> okay. Great, great. Yeah, Harutagarn... Giant transformations are just like whatever. I mean, again, it could be good for difficult content, um, uh, but I don't, I don't know. They, they would need these giant characters to actually like uh, be able to do something to super attack easier. Because it's not like even on Tapion's team, this giant category team right here, it's not like he gives four key, right? Like if this was Videl, sure, you know, then you're starting out with eight key in giant form. But Rudigarn is going to need six key, so. I don't know. Not really too impressed with the transformation part. Uh, Tapion, I, I will say this. Tapion is a really good goddamn sticker, too. So, uh, thanks guys for watching again, and uh, catch y'all next time.